Miss Christy here, and I am so excited to be together again cooking in the kitchen. Today we are learning how to make air fryer scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs is a classic breakfast to know how to make for yourself, and when we use an air fryer, it's quick and simple, and they turn out pretty perfect. We're gonna have fun making these together today, and I'm so glad you're here. Now, the first step to cooking and working in the kitchen is to wash our hands. While I wash my hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds, let's go over the ingredients and supplies that you'll need to gather to cook along today. The ingredients you need are one egg, one tablespoon of shredded cheese, which is optional, one teaspoon of milk, a pinch of salt and pepper, and cooking spray. The supplies you need are oven mitts for safety, a small oven safe bowl, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, and a fork. Okay, great. My hands are clean and your hands are clean. We've gathered our ingredients and supplies, so let's get started making our air fryer scrambled eggs. When I tell you this is really easy, it is, and I'm just excited to get to share this with you. However, first thing first, in order to cook this breakfast for ourselves, we do have to have an air fryer. So that's where everything is being cooked. I have mine here um, that we're gonna use. So that is a requirement for today's um, breakfast. So you do need an air fryer. But moving on, let's go ahead and start making our, our breakfast. Grab your small bowl. In the supply list, I did mention that it has to be oven safe. So since we're gonna put this in an air fryer, it does need to be able to withstand some high temperatures. So just make sure whatever bowl you use can usually like go in the oven or get hot um, in a microwave, something like that. Place your bowl right in front of you and grab your cooking spray. We wanna spray this with cooking spray so that when we put our egg in here, it doesn't end up sticking to it horribly. So I'm just gonna spray this with cooking spray. I usually do it over the sink just so cooking spray doesn't go everywhere. So I'm gonna spray this with some cooking spray. That way it's nice and greased. You can set your cooking spray to the side. And now we're gonna take our egg. So grab your one egg and we are gonna crack this right into the bowl. This is the bowl that we are gonna put in our air fryer. So everything is gonna get made right in here. If you don't feel comfortable cracking the egg without a shell going in it, you can crack it into like another small bowl and pour it in. Um, I'm just gonna crack mine right in here and hopefully don't get any shells. If I do, that's fine, we'll pick it out. All right, so crack your egg into your oven safe bowl, one egg. And now if you did try this and you make it again and you wanna add more eggs, however many eggs you want and your bowl will fit, you can do more eggs. This is just kind of the perfect size for yourself or for myself if I just wanted to have a little breakfast or a quick snack. So crack one egg into your bowl and then grab your fork and we're just going to mix it together. You could use a whisk. I just chose to use a fork today because it's easier. The bowl is small, so my fork fits in here nicely, but you just want to get your yolk broken up and mix this around. Okay. And now we're just going to start adding some flavor. So I put in the supply list that you can have a tablespoon of shredded cheese, which is optional. If you don't like cheese in your eggs, Definitely you don't have to do this part. Um, I like to have a little bit of cheesiness, especially when I'm having scrambled eggs. So if you choose to do this part, grab your shredded cheese, any flavor that you like, mine's just kind of like American, um, and then your one tablespoon. So it says one TBSP, and we're just going to measure out a tablespoon of shredded cheese, and right into our egg it goes. My fingers are clean. And then you can set those both aside. We're done with the tablespoon, we're done with the cheese. And now we need a teaspoon of milk. I do recommend putting a little bit of milk into your egg. It just makes them fluffier, especially when we cook them in the air fryer. Um, if you don't drink milk or you don't like milk, you can always leave this part out too. It is optional. It just makes them a bit more fluffy, which is why I like to add it. So grab your milk if you're milk if you're gonna choose to do this part and your one teaspoon. So it's the one TSP, it's the smaller one that we're using today. And carefully measure out a teaspoon, and pour it into our bowl. This part you just have to be real careful because it's a small measurement and you don't wanna get too much milk or else your eggs will end up tasting a lot like milk and not like egg. 
All right, dump that in and then you can put that to the side because we are done with our milk and our teaspoon. From here, we just need to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, just flavoring our egg before we put it in the air fryer and turn it into scrambled eggs. So if you want to grab your salt, and just because it's a pinch, I'm just going to take and pour a little bit out on my hand. Not a ton, if you get too much, not a big deal. You'll just end up kind of tossing it. But pinch of salt, so I poured a little bit in my hand, I grabbed a pinch of it, and just sprinkle it right in your bowl. And then I just shake the rest off. Same thing with the pepper. If you don't like pepper, this, this snack is very customizable. So if you don't like something, you don't have to put it in. Really, the egg is the biggest part. If you don't like pepper, don't add pepper. Uh, I just think it gives it a little bit more flavor. So I'm adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Again, just pouring a little bit on my hand, pinching it with my fingers and just sprinkling it on top. You don't need a ton, it's only one egg, so we don't need a whole bunch of pepper. And then you can just brush the rest off, put those to the side, we are done with our salt and pepper. And that's all of our ingredients. So we have our egg, a little bit of milk, I chose to put cheese in mine, and then a bit of salt and pepper. And that's all the ingredients for our scrambled eggs. Now I'm just gonna take my fork and give this a mix, because I wanna mix in my milk, mix the salt and pepper around, and then because I chose to put some cheese in mine, I just wanna get that mixed together as well. And that's it, so it's super quick, and now we just need to cook it in the air fryer. So how do we do that? I'm gonna set my fork to the side because we will use that in just a minute, so don't put it away completely. We need to cook this in the air fryer for four minutes at 350 degrees. So what I'm gonna do, plug my air fryer in, set it to 350 for the temperature, and then I'm going to set my four minute timer because that's all it needs for the first round. Then we quick stir it and we cook it for four more minutes. So that's the whole process, but first, four minutes at 350 degrees in the air fryer, and then we will talk about the next step. Okay, so I'm plugging my air fryer in, putting this in here, just careful not to spill it. And here we go, for four minutes, our first round. This is exciting. All right, friends, so our four minute timer just went off. So at this point, we just need to carefully take, open up our air fryer. We're not actually gonna take it out. So we just need to grab my fork and we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir in the bowl. So if you can just carefully open your air fryer, you're gonna stir it in the bowl and then we're gonna put it back in for four minutes at the same temperature. So 350 degrees for four more minutes. So it needs four minutes, stir, and then another four minutes eight minutes and it's done. So at this point, I'm gonna stir it, set my four minute timer again, and then we'll talk about it when it's done. Okay, so our second four minute timer just went off, which means our air fryer scrambled eggs are done. This is exciting. This is just a great recipe to use if you have an air fryer and maybe you're in your dorm and you don't have an oven or a stove top. So this is just something that you can now make yourself this great breakfast option. But let's get it out and look at it. So take your oven mitts because that bowl is going to be hot. It is like a little oven, so we need to protect our hands. So I'm gonna put my oven mitts on for safety and carefully take this bowl out, and then it needs to cool for about a minute. It's gonna be hot to touch, so I'm really just waiting for my bowl to cool down, um, and then we'll talk about our eggs that we made. All right, friends, so I've let this cool for about one or two minutes. Again, you just wanna make sure that the bowl is no longer hot to touch because it was in the air fryer, it did get very warm. But this is it, we have our air fryer scrambled eggs. And now from here, you can really just grab a fork and you can eat them right out of the bowl, which is what makes it such a great breakfast option. It's a quick thing in the, in the air fryer and then you can just eat it right out of the bowl. You can add different ingredients when you're making it, so maybe you wanna add a protein in there, like sausage or ham, or you wanna put some diced up vegetables and make it into like a little omelet. It's just great options um, that you can make for yourself and it's just a quick thing you can pop in. It's a healthy breakfast. 
Um, and now you can just eat it right out of the bowl with a fork, which I think is fantastic. So I do hope you try and make these. Give it a shot in your air fryer. Let me know how it goes. When you do, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. You can even send me a picture of how your air fryer scrambled eggs turned out. I would love to get to see them. Maybe you did add some different ingredients and maybe we can share it next week. Now, speaking of next week, on next week's episode, which is episode 29, we are learning how to make a cookies and cream milkshake. Believe it or not, we don't actually need to put any ice cream in this milkshake when we make it, and it still turns out creamy and tasting like cookies. In order to cook along and make this cookies and cream milkshake, these are the ingredients that you'll need to have in your kitchen for next week. One frozen banana, one cup of milk, one cup of ice cubes, and three Oreos. Well friends, our time together today is already over. I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to make these air fryer scrambled eggs. I know I had fun and I already can't wait to cook together again next time. But before you say goodbye to this episode, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. You just have to click the little picture of me in the corner. That way you don't miss next week's episode. It'll be out on Friday and I'll see you then. Bye friends. <laughs>